Hi everybody, this is an update on the Zoom simulation assignment. So hopefully by now, this is a 40% assignment, so it's 20% of your total grade. So now hopefully you've registered and you connected yourself to the course and you've started the practice rounds. And I have a video to show you how the practice rounds work and how to do those. And uh, so part one, the practice rounds are 20 points. Now, so I'm pretty sure you have that under control. Part two, and by the way, the practice rounds are due by September 27th, no later. Now, part two is going to be the team competition. So um, now that ad drop is over, I've set up the teams randomly on Blackboard. And to get the next 20 points in, the, in your team, so the 20 points for the solo, part two is 20 points for the teamwork. So it's 50% of your grade. You're going to have to work with uh, usually five other students and you need to get a total cumulative points over 2500 and the first round is due on october 1st um, now you should um, start working with your team now to organize how you're going to get the work done who's going to do what how are you going to meet uh, and you have various tools to, to do that which i'm going to go over in a second so here's just the schedule is here and so we're going to talk about how do you sign up for your get yourself in the team competition on the Zoom. So let me just go back up here. So first you need to find out what your team is. So if you go to groups, you click on groups, click on groups there. And as soon as you click on groups, it'll say Zoom teams, teams 10. And so you're on team 10, if it says teams 10. And here you can see your group members. And then you have in here, you have you can send email to your group members if you want to contact your group members. Uh, you can do a discussion board to talk to your group members. You can share files. Um, so that's all included in there. So that's how you figure out what team you're on. So what you do is you, you take that information. So if you're on Team 10, you go into the Zoom simulation, which is zoomsim.net, and you most likely already have a username and login, and you sign in. And if you haven't already done so, um, you want to select your professor. So click on Select Your Professor and you, you look for me. Most of you have done this. If you've done the solo game, you've already done this. So you find me and then the class selection. There's only one class code and you hit submit. Okay, now you get into the area where you have play solo practice. So this is where you probably already started this and you gotta play, you gotta finish the solo practice. But this, what we're talking about today is the play team competition. So you click on here and then you'll see a list and um, you'll see Team 10 is here, so you just click on Team 10, and that will place you into Team 10. Now, don't click on Create a New Company. You don't need to create a new company. It, these are slightly out of order, so you see, um, especially the single digits. If you're in a single digit team, these are slightly out of order. Most of the double digits are in order though. It's just a single digit. So you just have to scroll down. So if you're in team six, seven, eight, nine, or five, they're more towards the bottom. But if you're in a double digit, they're pretty much in numeric order. I don't know why it did that. Now some teams had, some students had joined up and just clicked on team one. You, you may be in the wrong team. So let me show you what happens. If, if, you, click, if you clicked on team one and you're not team one and you go play team competition, uh, you can say, okay, this, I choose the wrong team. You could click here to say, choose new team. And I can go in and the list comes back and I can choose team 10. And then when I go to click to play team competition, I'm now in team 10. So what you could do once you're in here, you can take a role and put in your full name and your email. It doesn't matter what role you take. It's a part of a role playing. So if you're take if you wind up with a marketing role, it doesn't mean that you have to do marketing every round. It's just part of the role play. And then you could read over the industry background, a little background about what the sim is trying to do. And you want to create a mission statement and fill out a team cooper cooperation by the end of the game to let me know how the team dynamics work. So in here, uh, if you have a team member that's not doing any work, uh, just write in here that this team member has done nothing and please consider removing his grade. So that way uh, you can give me feedback on if you have one or two team members that just refuse to participate. And that can happen. So just anticipate you, you know, if you get three out of the five people working well together, that's great. Some teams will have all five, some teams will have four. 
uh, just some students are lazy and they just try to shirk their responsibilities. So you can tell me all about it in this team competition box down here. Now, once you're in the team competition, it just it works kind of like the solo practice. You go in and you work with your team to figure out sales, marketing, production, finance, and then you submit to complete year one. So it works just like the solo practice. What is different, though, is that we have these reflective observations that someone on the team must fill out. So this is where you verbally describe what you've done when developing your car. So this is going to tell me exactly what your influences are, how you forecasted. So for each of the pages, you're going to have these reflective observations where you need to go in and so and fill it out. So it's sort of like a little documentation. So companies, when people make decisions or do things in the company, they have to answer to or record down what their strategy is and what they're trying to do. So that's the only, those are the two big differences from here to the um, uh, practice round. So remember, if you accidentally choose the wrong team, or if you've, if you've joined up early, you may find yourself, there's about 12 students who signed up and I changed the team name be called um, wrong team. So you, if you log in and you find that your team name is called wrong team, when you click on choose team, you you in the wrong team. So just click choose new team. And then if you're in team, say six, scroll down, here's team six, then you join team six. Okay, so easy enough. All right, so I just wanted to go over how you know what team you're in and how to join the team on the Zoom. So again, you go into groups on Blackboard. This will tell you what team you're on. Then when you go into the Zoom simulation, you can choose that team from the list. And remember, don't create a new team. Choose a team on the list. If you can't find your team on the list, email me. Don't create a new team. Okay, that's it for this quick video. I hope this explains how everything works. And when you get time, um, go into announcements and just, you know, jot, read over the Zoom instructions again and jot down these due dates for the team competition. Okay, best of luck. And after every round of the team competition, I'll make a video discussing the results, making suggestions, and interpreting how the industry did as we move forward in the simulation. Okay, look, so look forward to that. Talk to you soon. Bye.